baby boy. Today I wanted to show you guys how to make um, your own baby alive food mix. And this mix can be used for food or for juice. I have here an old um, baby food jar that's empty, clean, and dry. And I took the label off, which you wouldn't have to do. I also have a bowl of flour and a packet of orange Kool-Aid. And you could use any flavor, I'm just using orange. Because this mix could be used for food, but it can also be used to make orange juice, Baby Alive orange juice. So, first thing I'm gonna do is just take my measuring spoon and just slowly put the flour into the baby food jar. So, I'm just gonna and scoop it in. You want to fill it almost all the way full, but not completely full. That's probably good, give or take. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to shake my Kool-Aid down to the bottom and then rip it open. And take my Kool-Aid packet and kind of put it to where I can pour it easier, like that. And pour it into the mix. Like that. Now I'm going to put my lid on the jar. It smells really orangey. And then I'm going to shake it up really good. I want to get that mixture of Kool Aid and flour mixed up really well. You can barely see the orange, it's just a tint of orange, but there we go. That looks really good. Now I'm going to prepare a bottle for you so you can see. Let me get a little water in a bottle here. I have um, a Baby Alive bottle, and I'm going to open my mix, and this particular Baby Alive bottle has a really small opening, so I hope I don't spill it. Let me put it over this bowl here. I should have grabbed a different bottle, but... And you just really don't need that much at all. Oh, sorry, there we go. All right, now I'm going to put my lid. I put like two teaspoons in this bottle. And you can already see but it looks just like, hold on, sorry, there's some on the lid here, or the bottle. But it looks like Luke Day. And, um, I'll, let me go get a bowl and I'll be right back and clean up this mess and we'll also make it into Baby Alive. I have some water and the mix that we just made and a Baby Life bowl and spoon. So I'm going to take and put a couple of teaspoons into the bowl. Keeping teaspoons, and you can make as much as you want. I'm just making a little for this video. And I'm gonna pour in some water. And 
texture. And it smells so good and orangey. And this could be like maybe carrots or um, I don't know, just anything that was orange, sweet potatoes. I don't know. There must have been some other color on the spoon because um, maybe I was just imagining that, but anyway, I need a little more water. And as you can see, we have baby alive food. Just stir it up well so there's not like any chunks left in it. Look at that. Looks really good and it smells good too. I mean, it smells so orangey and yummy. It's really good. And also, I have another jar that I've made here. And you can't really see the color, but in it, I left a label, label on that one. But um, in this, I put um, a lemonade Kool Aid. And it could be a really light, maybe banana food or something, but I think it looks really well for baby formula. It's flour and lemonade Kool-Aid and it makes like the perfect formula. I'll go ahead and I'll be right back and get a bottle and make you Okay, some. I have a little jar, or a little jar, a little bottle of water. And I also have the Baby Alive Food mix that I made with um, lemonade Kool-Aid and flour. The same way as before, just lemon instead of orange. And I'm just gonna add a couple of teaspoons Sorry for being messy. And then I'm going to add my bottle lid. And if it needs more than that, I can always add more. And see how it looks like formula? And I probably maybe need a little more, but formula isn't perfectly white like cow's milk. And um, so the lemonade Kool-Aid makes the flour have that kind of yellowish Tint. I think I might need a little more. Let me add one more teaspoon. And if you have this mix, you don't have to get out your food coloring every time or, or what have you. Make it really good. And it looks like formula. So. And you can do this with any color of Kool-Aid. If you want red Kool-Aid, you can make red or blue, just whatever flavor of Kool-Aid that you think would make a neat baby alive food. With the lemonade and flour mixture makes good formula. Or you can mix it up and it could look like baby cereal. And the orange looks like orange juice, which I have orange here. And then you can just put your lid on it. and um, store it. So next time you feed your baby, you have baby alive food. But if you do have more than one flavor like I do, you're gonna probably want to create a label for it. So um, one thing you could do is like, if you have a baby alive juice packet, you could just like cut out the, um, the orange and tape it on so that you would know, hey, this is um, orange food. Or you could even make a label and draw it yourself. I'm cutting this through a camera viewer, so if this looks kind of weird, that's why. But um, you would probably will want to label it if you make more than one flavor because you don't want to go to make orange juice and accidentally make blueberries or something. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, this makes a really good um, baby alive juice and or food. I use it mostly for the juice, but you could use it for the food also. And I think if you mix maybe the lemonade and the orange, you could easily make some maybe baby pears or something. Anyway, this might be a little big for this, but um, anyway, you kind of understand what I mean. But Or you can just leave the label that came on it. It's whatever. And also, if you don't have baby alive jars, I'll show you. 
I have this jar. This actually had bouillon cubes in it. And when they got out, we, um, I don't have a, this mixture in it. I put the baking soda in this one. This is just pure white baking soda. That way, you know, it's easier to dip in to get for Baby Alive food. And I think it kind of looks like a Baby Alive jar. Sorry, it's not focused. I mean, it's about the same size. And it's plastic also, which is good. So it's not breakable. Anyway, so just any little jar or container you could make this in. It doesn't have to be something like this. But I wanted to just show you, I taped this on here just so I wouldn't forget what kind this is. And you can make a way fancier label, but this way I'll at least know this is our orange juice food. And I just wanted to show you. Hey, Corky!